All right, Capricorn, this is part two. Let's go ahead. Let's get started with your reading. We're going to go straight into the Tarot. This is for Capricorn. Wow, Capricorn here with Ace of Wands. Three of Pentacles, something dealing with your job. I really do see something dealing with your job here. A new job is what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. I also see someone who's going to be very cooperative in a love connection. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get some more. Nine of Swords. You guys are stressed out. You guys may be working too much and not getting enough rest. Ooh, here at the bottom of the deck, I have judgment here. There is going to be some type of call being made. I want to find out if this is someone coming in or if you guys are making some type of judgment call on your own. This is like a finale. Let's see. This is for Capricorn. Oh, yeah. Here with two of wands at the bottom of the deck, the moon. You know, I'm just going to tell you, I feel like a lot of you guys are making a judgment call to move forward. I think you're focusing on your work. It's a lot going on with your job. I feel like you guys are a little stressed out about your future, about what's ahead of you. And we saw earlier that there's so many beautiful thing that, things that are ahead of you. But because you don't know, it's stressing you out. There's things that you're wanting, but please don't, please pay attention to that Ace of Wands. That's your excitement. Something is causing that excitement. This is brand new. That's causing a lot of, um, you're ecstatic, okay? You're happy. So we're going to go ahead and see. We're going to see what this is about with that Ace of Wands. Let's see. Four Capricorn. Three of Wands. Something you've been waiting for. Look at this. It's so funny because here at the bottom of the deck, it's a nine of Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment. It makes sense. You're happy about something, something you've been waiting for, something that you've been waiting for. This is what you've been waiting for. This is exactly what you've been waiting for. Let's see. Let's keep going. This is for Capricorn. Whoa, holy moly. Your money, what is going on here with the world? I mean, we're talking about, you better expect a lot of change here. These are opportunities of the yin-yang with your work. Um, we're going to also see how this relates to love, which is, which is still, I'm kind of seeing that because we saw the nine of cups. Capricorn, wow. Knight of Wands. Some, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say it. For some of you guys, some of you guys, you are talking to someone from your past here with the death card. It looks like something that ended with this knight who's coming in and out, someone who's been causing you a lot of stress is going to come in, but they're going to run right out. Okay. This is why I feel like this is, that's going to be the judgment call. That's going to be a, you're like, this is it. This is it. I'm not doing this anymore. Two of Wands is here. There's going to be a lot of opportunities, brand new beginnings here for you. But I do feel like somebody going to try to come back in. For a few of you, not for everybody. Two of Swords. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think I was talking about this earlier here. This is your willpower to do what you know you need to do. Take the blinders off. Move forward. Twos talk about decisions. Some of you guys are going to be stuck in, in a decision. Should I talk to this person? Person? Should I stay here? Because um, this is what I'm saying. But with your career, there's other things that are out here waiting for you. And we're about to go ahead and clarify that and find out what all of this is. What is this about? So let's go ahead. Let's get that Ace of Wands. Wow. I love to see an ace. It's an opportunity. Ace of Wands for Capricorn. Yeah, it's something dealing with your job. I'm telling you, look at what came out. Three of Pentacles. It's something dealing with your job. Oh, holy moly. This was face down. I didn't even see it. Somebody wants to work something out. 
That's why for some of you, this is a wish fulfillment. For others, this is a new love. You guys may know this person or run through this person from your job, something like that, dealing with your job. You may come across this person because you are working from home or working while you're working or something like that. But this is what I'm saying. And for others, this is talking about um, someone wants to work something out. But either way, this is going to be someone who's a partner, a teammate, someone who's going to work and be cooperative with you when it comes down to a relationship. This is clarifying your ace of wands. <laughs> This is amazing. I see I see work being amazing. I really do. I see that being amazing uh, even when it comes down to your finances. But this is also talking about why you're so excited. Remember, dreams coming true with that three of wands, something you've been waiting for, a wish fulfillment, and it's happening. Let's get the three of pentacles. Wow. Three of pentacles. Then I tell you, listen, I don't know what you guys are doing. This is just too much. Look at this. This is your home. This is stability. This is also someone that's going to be, you know, reliable and loyal when it comes down to a connection. But your money is going to be on point. Let's get this nine of swords. Nine of swords. I, oh my God. See, I think part of this nine of swords is because somebody, somebody's still holding on. With this hangman, you could be still holding on. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how they're feeling. But it. listen, I, I, I just feel like for a few of you, this person is going to come in. And this person is still holding on to you, but they're causing dark days, okay? <laughs> just, I cannot. Uh, let's get that two of wands. Two of wands. Yeah, you've been waiting for too long. You're trying to heal. And like I said, I think for the most part, you guys may have this feeling of sadness because you really wanted to be with someone in your past. But the truth of the matter is, you know what you need to do. Part of that moon card talks about intuition and that's about letting go. Hey, yes, Capricorn. I love it. Okay, let's go ahead. But you got something coming on in here. Let's get that three of wands. Three of wands. Look at this strength card moving forward, right? Being strong, waiting for your wish fulfillment to happen. And then the eight of wands is here. For some of you, this is someone from your past. And for, for others, this really is talking about whatever is coming towards you is coming fast. And this is going to be everything. Whoa. Tons of opportunities that's going to be coming in here pretty soon for you. Let's get the eight of pentacles. Another opportunity. Look at this. Five of Pentacles, lack, missing, not having enough when it comes down to finances and money. You will now. Someone, you know, this is also this is for this is for everybody. Those who walked away, okay, because you wanted a new opportunity and you found it. Something that you're going to be ugh, indulged in. I'm telling you. And for others, for some, this is someone coming back because they want another chance, another opportunity with you. This reading, I don't remember your first reading. I remember a little bit, but I don't remember all of it. But this reading is amazing. Let's get this Knight of Wands. Wow. You guys are going to be looking at this at night. You guys see it's all bright outside. It's, it has been hours later. Okay. <laughs> um, Sorry, I pulled a card. Oh, dang it. I put it back in laughing. So I did see the Ace of Swords that came out. There is going to be, you are going to get clarity on this past person. That's what I'm saying. There is going to be some type of communication. Clarity is what I'm seeing. Oh, it came out anyway. Didn't I just say Ace of Swords came out? Spirit don't miss with y'all. I'm telling you, they don't. So you are going to get clarity. And you guys are going to be able to move on successfully. Okay, this is optimism. Your future looks bright. You, you guys got so many good cards in this reading. Okay, let's get this Two of Swords. Two of Swords, first one that came out, absolutely. Star card. Six of Wands, Hangman, no longer being stuck. That's exactly what this is saying. Let's get one more. You're not being, you're not stuck anymore. Card came out here. Oh yeah, there you go. Moving forward. See, this is what this is what this is really about. 
Um, a lot of you guys are going to make a decision to be with someone. And a lot of most of this is talking about you guys traveling, moving. I really do feel like a lot of moving here, a lot of traveling. Um, and also this is talking about, you know, communication with someone from your past. And you're going to you're going to have a choice. You're going to have a choice to be with them or not to be with them. You know, it's been a while. Um, so this is going to be your decision. Literally, that's exactly what the reading is. This is going to be your decision. But man, when I tell you tons of opportunities with money, finances, um, new love, that type of stuff is here. So this is what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you. Either way, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much for uh, supporting me. I love you guys. Um, if you guys are new, uh, again, please like and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, everything will be inside the description box. Capricorn, I'll see you guys later. Bye.